What's happening, Mad Reds? Welcome to the video. Welcome to another edition of Car Cam. And today it's actually a positive in a way. Uh, the last couple have been pretty dire, boring, well, not so much boring, but just angry sort of car cams. There's certain subjects that come out at United which are either positive or negative that need talking about basically and this week obviously the main news coming out of United besides everything else that is that we already know about in terms of transfers and just pure speculation is the Glazer out movement which is actually gathering momentum in quite a big way now we all know that uh, there is going to be a protest now outside of Old Trafford this Saturday uh, a lot of people are starting to jump onto this now and it is looking like there is going to be a pretty big turnout which is a positive for United because recently, especially the last couple of years, it has been forgotten exactly where the major issue is at United and United fans have been arguing, falling out with each other and it has been a poisonous atmosphere and this movement, the Glazer Out movement, is a positive for me because not only is it moving in a direction where we all want to go where we want the Glazers out, but it's bringing the fans together and actually fans agreeing and being on the same page and moving the same way because, like I just said then, it has been dire and poisonous recently. We've forgotten where the issue is at United recently. It's been managers, this manager, this. It's been certain players that shouldn't be at the club, certain players getting contracts like I've talked about recently who shouldn't. Things going on off the peel, players not pulling the weight. And it's just got to a point where now everyone's like, well, we can't really talk about that much more. We can't keep talking and keep talking about that. And then all of a sudden now, it's got to a point where fans are like, over seven weeks into the summer and hardly anything has happened in the transfer window. The players we know who should be leaving have not left. And it's everyone's down now thinking... Well, we can't really keep arguing about the same old things. There's obviously got to be more to it than what meets the eye. And it has brought the Glazers back into focus now. And not just on social media now. The actual radio stations are talking about it. It's on TV, reports and news that this actual Glazer Out movement is actually gathering momentum. I think the fact that... Uh, the likes of Newcastle and their situation with their owner and obviously being two of the biggest clubs in England in terms of support base and, and fanatical fans are actually going through similar sort of issues. Obviously, I would rather be a United fan than a Newcastle fan in terms of the state that that club is in at the moment with their owner. They are, for me, in a worse situation than United all day. But... It is a very similar sort of scenario where we're not seeing any progression at all and progression has to come from the top and there has to be an ambition for the owners or the ownership of the club to actually move forward. I mean, it was on Talk Sports uh, yesterday, I think, and Darren Goff uh, was talking about it on Drive, uh, reading out the details of the financials of United uh, over the time while the Glazers have actually been in charge. Them numbers and then figures that Darren Goff was talking about have been out for a while. It's only because this Glazer Out movement has kicked into gear so much that the, the channels are actually talking about it, the radio channels that is. And they've actually looked into it a little bit more in detail because they all talk and say they know and they can't understand uh, exactly what the fans are going on about and they'll have no sympathy for United fans around the country while other fans won't have sympathy. And that's right, it won't, but when you look at it in detail, like they have, and like we already know, they've done it for the first time, and now everyone is talking about it now, like it's like it's fresh off the news that this has actually just happened. No, these figures have been out. I did a video the other week talking about where the Glazers are and what money's been put in here and there, but the facts are there now that we have made, as fans, this Glazer Out movement... Uh, uh, so obvious now and it's such a big thing that the radio stations have looked in depth at the issues at United and the fact that since uh, the Glazers have been in, the amount of money they've taken out, the dividends they've taken out, the fees for the directors, totaling up to well over a billion pounds has been taken out of Manchester United and not invested back into Manchester United like they were saying on the radio the other day and it has kicked into a gear now because of the fans and the social media side of it. And that has obviously brought the protest, which is coming this Saturday. And is bringing it to the fore. 
what will happen from this protest? Uh, well, the Glazers are hard-faced. To be honest, the best thing that can come out of this protest for me, uh, or the thing I honestly think is good, the only thing that will, good that will come out of it, is the fact that the United fans are all together. United fans are as one. Because we haven't been like that. We haven't been like that for a while now. But with one common enemy at United, the United fans will always come together because we all have disagreements and we all have different opinions, but we all have one one love and that is United. It's like people ask me, well, you're very hypocrit hypocritical because you complain about the club, but you still go every single week. As a season ticket holder for so many years, I'm not about to give up my seat just because people are saying I should be doing this and should be doing that. That's easy for them to say, but I've been at this, I've been a season ticket holder for years now at United. I'm not about to give up my seat because someone else will take my seat and then that seat will be filled by some corporate businessman or someone who's just selling that seat on. I've talked about that before. So for me, as a season ticket holder, the Glazer Out movement is good and it is only a positive because it will just bring the issues that United have out into public even more and that is what needs to happen now. Uh, this won't affect anything in terms of the Glazers' plans whatsoever, in my opinion, it won't. It is good that the fans are all together and we're on the same page, but until, obviously, uh, United are further down the table, not competing at the higher level, not winning trophies on that, means not earning money. The Glazers probably still won't budge. They're still earning profits. They're still taking money out of United and that for them as businessmen, and it is simply business, that will not affect them in any way if we protest, if we do this, if we do that. Maybe they will make certain moves to appease certain fans and take the heat off it a little bit. And by that I mean I would not be surprised now in the next three days if they try to speed through the Aaron wan Bizaka deal and sign a player just because it will just take the focus away from them just for that love. This is what they do. This is what United do. They're very, very clever at it. They make a simple announcement or just try and bring something out into subject that people can talk about for a, fit, for a little while and deflect it away. They will deflect and deflect and deflect until the season starts. That's what they do. A player will sign a new contract, one matter last week. We had all the issues with Jesse Lingard the week before. Now his uh, PR team have got him posting videos of him doing fitness videos and people getting ready for the season, which is all great and good. But all the players are doing that now, obviously. United will tell these players certain things that they will be doing. I mean, i seen uh, a post I tweeted it the other day about United selling mattresses, for God's sake. I mean, that's exactly where we're at at the moment. And we're not going anywhere in terms of on the field. Uh, with all this going on, that United are actually releasing uh, adverts and posters of... Uh, mattresses and a sponsorship deal for mattresses for God's sake and that should tell you everything you need to know with everything going on there is obviously a little bit of a difference this time in terms of like we said the radio stations talking about it and obviously uh, MUTV like we said cancelling certain programs because they know there's going to be a backlash now from the fans and I would not be one bit surprised, like I said, if there is an announcement this week or definitely within the next week now uh, in terms of a signing or something along them lines or some sort of announcement in terms of a player renewal or someone actually... I'm trying to think now of another positive that might actually come out they might even think of because they're running out of them now. But yeah, I do I do fully expect now something to happen this week, the next few days now in terms of United announcing a signing, just to take the pressure off the situation that is the Glazer Out movement now. So obviously it is it is a major, major subject to talk about. I think it is good simply because of like I've said, the fans and everyone being together. Honestly, do I think it will affect anything? and change anything in the thought process of the Glazers and Edward Wood. How long have they been here and how have they changed with anything going on, with anyone making any noises at the club? 
they've not changed any tax at all since they've been here they're always going to carry on doing exactly the same thing it's a sad state of affairs but until the sponsors give up on them and the money stops coming in nothing will happen with the glazers in terms of selling up but one positive from <clears throat> well you could take a positive from this if the Glazers don't spend as much money. That will be quite, what's that now? Two seasons, two summers in a row where they've not spent a lot of money. And obviously, in terms of business, that is all going, I'm boiling down to the fact that they could possibly look in to sell and actually sell United because they are and physically cannot take United any further than what they have done now because the profits are not going to get any any bigger now it is plain and simple the fact that if we don't make the champions league this season the adidas deal gets affected and two seasons without champions league money is seriously going to affect united you're talking close there to around about 100 million a year that we're not going to be making that is going to start dinting that is going to start affecting silver lining of all this could literally be that that we have to drop and we have to settle for mediocrity for a season or two seasons and the money will stop coming in. But then again, will the Glazers start upping prices on season tickets to cover it? And will... You just don't know. I'm just thinking here now that it could be a positive. Then straight away thinking oh, they could try and spin it another way. It's, they've got you in that way. That's the state that they've got us fans in at the moment we're thinking there is one positive there but then i'm thinking or oh, they could counteract that by doing this and doing that it's just the way they work and positivity is at an all-time low at the club this this weekend will bring a bit back with the fans especially which is important and that is why i did this video because it is a major talking point and it is massive for the future of united that we need to know exactly where this club is going, what the Glazers' plan is. Hopefully, it's to sell up and get out of here. But don't be surprised if they're stuck here and they find a way around this. Because as long as they're making money, it doesn't matter what happens off the pitch or what what anyone else says. It will just be noted and an announcement will be made. Something will soften the blow and it will carry on. And then when the season comes, obviously, we're all talking about the football side of it again. And our minds are preoccupied with football matters on the pitch and that's what they're trying to get to the fact that there isn't an international tournament this <coughs> this summer is killing them i'm telling you now because the focus is fully on united at the moment and there's no way out of it for them and this is why it's just a little bit different this time in terms of this glazer out movement compared to the last time we protest we we're in a dire state of affairs we're a lot worse off than what we was last time a protest like this happened and could this be different? I'm not saying it's not going to be. I've not got my hopes up. I really haven't, but it's only a good thing. Like, subscribe to the channel if you're watching for the first first time, people. Thanks for tuning in. I will be back at weekend with another video. Or if something else breaks, which really could happen this week, I will be back and I will catch you guys then. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys.